Hi everyone, William here from Pangolin Photo Safaris. In this video, I'll be guiding you through my simple seven step process to choosing the best image from a photography sequence in Lightroom. I'll be showing you how I easily go from 500 images to just one. I'm going to share my guide to importing files filtering images using the reject and pick tool, and making the most of color labeling and star rating. Stick around to the end to see which image I think is my best image from an incredible morning photographing lion from a photographic bunker in Botswana. My name is William Steele, and I'm a professional wildlife photographer for Pangolin Photo Safaris here in Botswana. My job is to help guide and teach guests how to improve their photography. When using a camera with a high frame rate, it is easy to get a little snap happy. That's not a bad thing, but it can lead to weeks or even months of work trying to sort through and edit the thousands of photographs you have taken. I want to show you my easy guide to speeding up that process. Let's start by importing our sequence of images. To import images, you simply open up Lightroom, click on the library menu and press import at the bottom left hand corner. When importing images into Lightroom, I make sure I have the Don't Import Suspected Duplicates, as well as Build Smart Previews selected and set to standard. Smart Previews are small, low resolution versions of your photographs. The benefit is that images will load much faster than usual, saving you frustrations of waiting. In order to build Smart Previews, Lightroom will take a little bit longer to load your images. But once all your images have been imported, we can start the culling process. Step 1. Reject. What I'm looking for in this first round of deleting is images that are out of focus or have obvious technical issues. I simply scroll through the images while pressing X for the ones I want to reject. You can also press Z to pick an image you like, but I personally feel that it's easier just to filter through rejected images. Once you've sorted through all the images, you can go to the bottom right hand corner and select the filter showing only the rejected images. You have two options when deleting, either delete from disk, which removes the original source file, or delete from Lightroom, which just removes the files from Lightroom. Because I don't want these files taking up valuable hard drive space, I will delete it from disk. Just make sure you have only the rejected images selected. In the first step, we've gone from 551 images down to 337. Step 2. Refine. In this round of deleting, I simply repeat step 1, but this time looking more closely at the composition of an image. I want to reject images that I think are framed wrong, composed badly, or have obvious visual issues. It is worth remembering that while some images may not be composed perfectly, you can always crop these images, so don't be overly selective at this stage. As with step 1, you can now delete the rejected images. This step takes us from 337 images to 190. Step 3. Color rating. Now that we have a refined selection of images, I like to go through and color label the remaining ones. You can choose your own system, but for me, I label red for the best images and yellow for the maybes. I'm curious to know what colour you would pick for your best images. Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, why not subscribe to the channel? As next week, I'll be showing you four different ways to edit the same image. Step 3 is certainly subjective to you. Some images naturally stand out in a sequence as being great, and others you may want to revisit later. The yellow label I use for images I can't bring myself to delete just yet. Through this process, we have now reduced our selection of 551 images down to just 17 red labeled images. Step 4 Star Rating. The smaller the selection, the harder it is to refine further. At this stage, I'm no longer rejecting or deleting images, but rather just rating them. Not only does Lightroom have the option to color rate, but also star rate. Yet again, you can have your own rating system. But at this stage, I simply like to go through the red labeled images to find a handful of my favorites. I give five stars to the images that really stand out to me. Through this step, there are now just seven images. 
Step 5. First edits. By this stage, all seven of the images I like, and as a result, I will go through and edit them all. I often find in this editing process I'm able to find flaws that I initially didn't see scrolling through, or sometimes things I love about certain images. This edit is not the final edit, but simply a quick experiment to see what the images could look like. Step 6. Change star rating. Now that we've done a rough edit, I like to go through and reevaluate the initial star rating. I scroll through and change some images to 4 stars rather than the initial 5. This way, I still have these 4 star images in my top 7, but it reduces the number of 5 star images. Now we just have 3 images left. Step 7. Personal preference. To me, step seven is where your own style matters. Whether it is just one or a handful of images, you will personally be drawn to some images more than others. Don't ignore that. That is what makes your photography unique to you. From early on, one image really stood out for me. Whether it's the eye contact from the line or the composition, this is my favorite image from the scene. I would love to know if you think I made the right choice, or was there another image that you think was better? I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial on how I picked the best image from a sequence. In my next video, I'll be showing you four different ways to edit the same image. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching.